Hey everyone, Spazzy Dragon here, aka Syndromes. It's 3 a.m. on a Tuesday morning and I'm not sleeping. I have no idea fucking why, so we might as well record the second episode of Meet the Faction. Today, I am currently flying at this medium blue because whoever left this shared ship in space is a massive doo doo head and I cannot suicide. And so, yeah. And if we open the ship's inventory right now, we will see a core ID and that there is a reason for it because today we're going to be talking about the core. And uh, as before, today I have someone with me. I have uh, Lithrilux here and I probably just mispronounced her name, didn't I? Her name, excuse me. Hello. You said her. God damn it. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Close enough. So who the fuck are you and uh, what are you in the community? Um... I'm Lithrolux. I'm a highly productive member of the community. Um, I started playing about 2012, so I've been here for uh, about three years. Um, I actually made JM, but um, I got a bit bored of that, so I took up the reins of Core. And yeah, and now I'm leading the lovable faction known as Core that you all know and love today. Or hate. Or hate. It's like Marmite, basically. Space Marmite. That's a lot of spare marmite, space salt. Oh, sorry, I mean pineapple. <laughs> so I suppose before we actually start talking about the core, uh, tell us more about where the hell am I? Because quite frankly, I have no idea where I am. Like, I haven't played the Omicrons for a while now, so you'll have to fill me in. What, Like, where the fuck are we? What are the Omicrons? What can you find here? Yeah, basically, like, so you're in Moo right now. Um, I think, in my opinion... The Omicron sort of disappeared from the general community view because activity in there completely died and people stopped flying there. No one really knew like like what the fuck was going on there. Um, the Omicrons are generally a collection of systems that are meant to represent the really sort of wild alien uh, systems that humanity hasn't really set foot in. Uh, typically, they're caught yeah. So typically, they're caught at the edge worlds, um, and that includes most Omicron systems. It also includes an Omega as well. Um, and yeah, so as I said, alien systems, aliens. So what kind of factions? Are. So what kind of like apart from aliens, what else is there? Well, you can see like of course nomads, uh, core, the order, corsairs, uh, artificial intelligence. Um, Ace will be happy that I mentioned his faction. Uh, <laughs> also, <laughs> also be like uh, outcasts as well in the upper in the upper Omicrons. Um Zoners, of course. Zoners, zoners, zoners. No, you can You can never forget the zoners. Well, you can, um, oh, yeah. Only two tourists in neutrality. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, hello! It, really. I, I finally found an NPC that can kill me. Shield fail. Okay, go on. Yeah, that's all the factions. I think I really hope I haven't missed out anyone else. Some people will be very angry at me. Oh, I guess technically the wild as well. Oh well, guess what? These freaking nomad NPCs also do sixty ten. Yeah, they all had their guns nerfed. Although, if you come to Delta, you'll see the big swarm of 30 or so NPCs that will happily kill you. It's okay, I see the white of this medium blue. So, uh, tell us about the core. Like, how, what is the core? Why are we currently flying, like, BHG ships? Like, what's the difference? Oh, you're triggering me already. Mm. Yes, hello. Uh, I'll actually just grab our faction description, because that way I'll be able to describe it best. Um, That's cheating. <laughs> That's not cheating. It's just giving a, a quick insight into my faction. Okay, actually. All right. Basically, the core is a large paramilitary force operating within the Edge World. So that's primarily the Omicrons, and then going into the Omegas. God um, fucking damn it! What? <laughs> I respawn underneath the system again. <laughs> he didn't oh, leave the sift here. He actually. Ah, oh, you <laughs> suck. <laughs> You should probably swap to a different Lancer then. Liv, how do I... Where do I go? Like, what station can I... Like, wh how do I get out of Moo? Please help. Um, you have to go via the jump holes. I guess you can give people, like, a nice little tour. Uh, which ones? Uh, you can go... You'll end up going through Minor, and uh, then... No, Zeta, Minor, and then you get to uh, Delta, okay. then Rho, yeah. Okay. Um, I have map for you. Okay, I, I got it. So, 
like, so what is the difference? Like, uh, I know personally for a fact that the core were usually the BSG guard when we yeah. still had guard factions. So <laughs> how did that evolve? <laughs> basically, like, more or less, to put it bluntly, uh, the BHG core was sort of shoehorned in to give the BHG an excuse as to why the fuck they had capital ships. Um, as was. Ursus... Oh, oh, basically... Um, actually, no, at first there wasn't really any reason. It was just, this is the the big secret system where... Uh, Omega-56, the big secret system where we manufacture all the secret ships and make them for the BHG and la 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 And then um, eventually that was developed into um, a faction that... That was where the BHG poured all their assets and money into, and uh, the objective of the BHG core was to explore the edge worlds and uh, find rare alien technologies. Um, I mean, the thing I find most interesting about the core is because, of course, uh, people watching this, um, so you know, the order, the objective of the order is that they want to stop humanity getting alien technology and fight the nomad threat, just ensure that humanity is as far away from the nomads and everything associated with them as much yeah. as possible. Whereas core is a com like the complete flip side, like. <laughs> With core, it's all about getting as much alien technology as we can for ourselves, and then selling it to the highest bidder, uh, making a profit from it, developing advanced so technologies. So technically, you're the Cerberus from Mass Effect. Yeah, I guess. Um, it's two sides of the same coin, really. Um, I mean, it's why the factions are at war with each other because the Order doesn't want the core getting a hold of uh, such technology because it's bad for the rest of Sirius. Nope. Apparently. So who are the highest bidders? Highest bidders are people like corporations, uh, intelligence factions, house militaries, um, research groups, that sort of thing. Uh, so you're the middleman. Yeah, basically we're the middleman. Okay, so what, like, how did, uh, like, who started off the core? Like, uh, how did it start, and how did it kind of end up here? Like, is there any difference between how core it is, like, right now in 2015, as to opposed, you know, what it was like a few years back? Oh, massive, massive differences, like. Uh, I mean, I mean, like I said, I, I started playing in 2012, but like as far back as I know, um, originally there was this faction called Darkwing, and uh, right. they said I think their law was that um, they were like a bunch of mercenaries that came from another universe, traveled through a wormhole into Sirius, arrived in the Omega 56 system, and then started up as a career as alien mercenaries in capital ships. And then, <laughs> <laughs> remember when back in the day, Discovery Roleplay was a little bit more lenient towards crap like this. Yeah. Um, and then what happened was uh, this was in uh, that was in about 2007. By 2008, uh, a, like a proper core faction sort of came around. Like this faction was more serious with the roleplay. They were still very very lenient though. Like in the message dumps, you have like sort of lol speak that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but Darkwing disbanded. I think that there was they got a lot of negative feedback over fights or engagements or something, and it just sort of broke the faction apart. And the leader, I think called Susanna, just couldn't really handle it. So right. um, the faction disappeared, and then this new core faction comes along. Um, or wait, did I actually get my timeline wrong, or did I just fuck it up? Mass <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't actually. It's it's still good. Yeah, this new core faction is is around. Um, but actually, what happens though is uh, Athenian makes this faction called the Search and Destroy Division, and this was basically yeah. the beginning of Bount the Bounty Hunters Guild as we know. Well, okay, in my opinion, it's not the same as the VHG we have right now. Uh, there is a minefield uh, in the way. Is this a insta kill minefield or? You should be able to avoid it if you look for the weapons platforms. There's a hole that leads to the jump uh... hole. There's a hole, uh, alright, uh, uh. As, I, as I was saying, um, yeah, you have the Search and Destroy Division that was basically the real start of a proper BHG and BHG core faction. Uh, this was actually the point where they did have the two factions merged with each other, like, they shared the same tag, but different IDs, um, or did they at this point? I mean, actually, I'm not terribly sure, but I, th I think they may have had different IDs, um, and this was basically the start of BHG. Eventually, the faction transitioned into BHG. Um, like the, with the BHG tag you tend to see around these days. Uh, and um, that was led by, I think, maybe Athenian or maybe Agmen. Not too sure. Um, well, I remember both being the Bounty Hunter guys. Yeah. Uh, and basically... There's, there's the BHG and there's also the BHG core and they, they're both under the same tag. Um, BHG core itself 
as I said, the whole point of it was to be a faction that was in the Edge Worlds looking for alien no tech and selling to the highest bidders. But um, as I said, the Beachview Corp was kind of a hobbyist faction. It wasn't really well thought out. I mean, there were some really cool concepts, but there was like really so stupid shit like what you did was kind of refine the whole yeah thing. i refined it basically like there was stupid shit like oh um the bsu core we have like a really big fleet how did we get that fleet we uh-huh. we uh no it wasn't even just it wasn't actually the they did actually explain it but it was a pretty shoddy explanation um <laughs> fair enough it was all funded by money from bounty hunting contracts so like there's really shitty two mil bounties you get from the lib bounty board right let me, just fund, make, like, let me just make a lot of bounties yeah. off of that and also stations as well, that they've, and systems and territories they're able to control apparently all came from bounty hunting contracts. And, I mean, I didn't really like this. Um, <laughs> I can see why. In, so what the hell are the APM, then? Uh, uh, the APM... Uh, APM existed at this time as well. APM was all the way back from what is What does APM stand for? Let's start with that. I actually really wish I could tell you I knew, but I don't. Um, <laughs> okay, let's just roll it, with that. <laughs> it's, it's, I think it stands for Alabama... Like, MP and I were trying to sort of theorize what it meant, and we think it's like Alabama products and manufacturing, because it's AP manufacturing, but yeah, yeah. I'm not terribly sure it's based off Alabama Shipyard and Emerald Row. Um, basically, APM was uh, S&D's attempt to sort of explain the law behind all the uh, BHG ships and equipment, so um, there's this like corporation called APM, it builds all the ship for them, um, it's been the s- supplier of them for hundreds of years, uh, and yeah. Uh, they set up their headquarters in Omicron Row in Al- uh, Alabama Shipyard. Um, I mean, today... Uh, actually, I'll, I'll get to that in a bit. Um, and yeah, basically, uh, they build all the ships for the BHG and the core. And Fair enough. Uh, that's basically APM. Okay, so we got this out of the way. So yeah. what what kind of player is the core Oh, wait, wait, we, we kind of we kind of didn't really finish the whole transition period between BHG, core, and core. We kind of right. darted it. Yeah, so I'll finish that up. Um, and it's a lot to take in, I'm afraid. Uh, basically, um, so you had BHG Core and that all the problems associated with it. And when I joined the faction in 2013, I thought it was a bit iffy. Um, in about 2014, early 2014, uh, the the faction as a whole began to die. Like BHG was really inactive. BHG right. Core was basically dead. Like throughout throughout the past year or so, it was only surviving from life support by BHG because they shared the same tags, the same activity. Right. Um, and I mean, I felt personally that the faction itself had a whole bunch of cool concepts, so the whole give alien tech to everyone kind of thing had like really cool ships. Um, it had like some really cool sort of background role play that was never really etched down, but the... Yo, I'm gonna let you it. finish, but there's Zora logging in, and we're currently flying around with oh, any nanobots and an ace gun. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, and I, as you said, I took it and decided to refine it. Uh, the faction went unofficial early 2014. Uh, uh, do we have a base in Delta? Uh, we do. No. Yeah, we do. Yaren base. Where? Planet Naro. The faction went unofficial early 2014, and I came along, and I split the faction. I, of course, asked the HC beforehand, and I started role-playing that the core itself was uh, a PMC that had cut away from the BHG and was its own thing, because, I mean, there are a lot of concepts, like how... Um, the core had gotten to iridium mining, it could sell ships, it could sell alien technology and equipment. Like, it didn't need to rely on bounty hunting contracts for sustenance when it had all those other sort of profitable avenues, but the previous faction just for some weird reason, like, never touched upon that. So I sort of incorporated that into the uh, faction's um, economical structure to right. sort of give it origins to how it can get all of its shit. Um, and yeah, and then fast forward a little bit, uh, went around, really active faction, uh, ended up getting official in summer 2014. Um, yeah, and the faction now is basically that it's a... Because, I mean, in the end, I had I sort of changed it from being a PMC to a paramilitary, because like, a PMC is kind of a small thing, a paramilitary yeah. is a bigger, more appropriate description to fit the core. So it's basically, par- it is advancing. Like, it's yeah, uh, it, it evolved a lot. Like, it wasn't really a retcon. In the end, I did do some lore retcons, just sort of change dates around, but um, in the faction itself, I've evolved it. Uh, it's a proper paramilitary... Um, pre- a pretty big, powerful one. It's at like the cutting edge of uh, Syrian technology because of course they do all the tampering with alien shit. Yeah. Um, I also sort of, as I said, I like, expanded upon like other goals because there was sort of always there was always this like hidden sort of goal where it was like the um, BHG core was supposed to go in the Omicrons and dominate them. Um, 
take as much territory as they can and then eventually like build up this empire within Eastern Sirius, then use it to sort of invade the other houses because at this point they would basically own the, own the Omicrons, so they'd have access to all like the advanced alien technology and stuff, and no one would be able to stop them. Right. So yeah. So how does this all translate? Like you put all this effort into the lore and everything. Like how does this translate to actual players like playing your faction? Like what well, do we do? Generally, like the sort of role play um, you have in the core is that because uh, something an avenue that I haven't really seen anywhere else is that you sort of role play as a, a like it's a lawful ID, but you're not actually a good guy. Like typically stock lawful. So for example, Liberty Navy. Uh, you're just a guy and a guardian doing your thing for your house, my freedoms. Um, yeah, my in core, freedom. In core, that's completely different. Um, you're working in the edge worlds where no one else can really see what's going on. Like people go disappearing all the time. Right. Um, there are no rules. <laughs> yeah, you basically bend the rules. Like you don't have to give a fuck about people's freedoms, uh, morals, ethics. Um, right. You're allowed to oppress whoever you want. Like the core has a whole bunch of laws to impose upon people. That's something I really like, which is a really cool dynamic. To be fair, it's not actually role played enough by the Zona players. But I guess maybe this video will hopefully encourage something. Um, I mean, it's in it's in new info cards that have been added, so I uh, urge people to check them out. They're on Dabadoru. Um, basically, the, the interesting dynamic is Core comes along, it has a whole bunch of laws it wants to enforce, and that directly conf conflicts with the Zona way of life because Zonas are meant to. Yeah, exactly. They, 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 they kind to, yeah, of went away to not to, to deal with this shit. To not to deal with that kind of shit. But then the Core rolls up and it's like, yo, we're going to take over the Edge Worlds and impose all these laws. You'll have to deal with it and do as we say. And that's where the core sort of oppression roleplay comes from. Like, everyone has to bow down to what you say. Um, cub stomp here and there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And the thing is, the zoners are in a way like they can't exactly say no. We're not going to follow this because they'll get shot. And well, this is the basically core. the same as the IMG and the Galax. Yeah, basically like that. Like we're essentially bullies of the Omicrons. All right. So let's finally start. Like, uh, so what? How does this translate into you know what? It, what kind of players should be attracted to core? Like, what kind of player is core meant for? The kind of player that. They want to play a lawful character, but they don't, they don't want the sort of morals and ethics associated with it. Like, they want to have the sort of freedom to not be a stock lawful, someone who can be cruel and unrelenting in their approach to dealing with individuals, someone who doesn't have to sort of abide by moral codes and ethics, someone who is uh, so basically, part of the... hey, I'm a good guy, but might is right, and my way or the highway. Yeah, basically, like, you think I'm a good guy, but actually I just want to shit on your day and make you my bitch. Okay, so right now I'm sitting uh, outside of Yara and like, uh, I undocked, I'm a member of the core, so what can I go do? Like, what is there to be done here in Delta? Uh, Delta is generally, actually, I, well, it, it kind of is the hotspot of activity, though I'd say home systems are better, but Delta sort of is the sort of melting point of various factions, so you've got the core, uh, the nomads, the order, the corsairs, and the AI all sort of coming in, having um, pews with each other and fights. I don't know, you can go to the Freeport and just start role-playing with Zonas. Um, Being dick to them. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Or you can have that, or you can just, like, so they exchange their stories at the Freeport, like, stories of how, oh, we've come all the way out here to explore, and all well, the nomads are all spooky and scary, Ooh. and we need someone to help us, stuff like that. Um, I mean, Delta was where we had two events uh, this year as well. Um, there's more sh shit planned for it as well. Uh, it's, it, like I said, it's basically the hotspot of activity in the Omicrons. Um right. So as a core part, you can go there for pews. You can also go to like home systems of factions. So you can go to move for order and just like have a, have like a whole bunch of activity there and start shooting order pilots. Uh, you can go to alpha. Shoot so do you cast. like you actively hunt uh, order? Uh yeah, like we actively I... engage in raids and pews with order factions. Um, okay, well, with... what about like the other things? What about the corsairs? What about the yeah, AI? Yeah, we do that as well. We shoot corsairs, AI, outcasts, nomads, wild. So you're basically shooting a lot shooting of things. <laughs> yeah, basically like Omicron's a... So it is a PvP like centric. Yeah, it's a it's a PvP. Omicron's have always been a PvP centric environment. I mean, I people are probably gonna disagree with me. They're gonna be like, oh, oh no, let uh, it's not uh, PvP centric. There was there was lots of role play before you arrived or something like that. But like, yeah. I mean, when you break it down to bare bones, every encounter in the Omicron's are, like revolves around hostilities. 
like, I'll just every like anywhere. Just like, hello, this is serious. <laughs> this well, is no, I mean, like, you get, like, corporations interacting with lawfuls in, like, say, like, Liberty, but in the Omicrons, it's, like, a core on autopilot, hostile. Like, everyone, yeah. Ex- yeah, everyone wants, I, I everyone wants everyone, to kill each other. I think everyone here is, like, yeah. uh, with some military training to them, so it's got to be a completely different uh, type of interaction. And, like, everyone wants to kill each other, essentially, in the Omicrons. It's a deadly place. <laughs> so, basically, if you want to get shot, then, you know, core is for you. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay, so, uh, you know, being shot is one thing, but, you know, what can I get shot in? Like, uh, I join core, like, what can I fly? We have a, we have a com- yeah, we do have, like, a, aside from an SHF, I think, in a transport, we have a complete ship line. So we've got an LF, which is the Sea Serpent. Um, there's the HF, which is the Hammerhead. The VHF, which is the Manta. Uh, the Bomber, which is the Moray. There's the Gunboats, so you've got the Bottlenose and the Orca. You've got the Capitals, which are the Thresher, which is a pretty good destroyer. The Bullhead, uh, which is a pretty good battlecruiser. The Mako, which is really shit, uh, which is an <laughs> alright battleship. Um, so yeah. That's can... just because you don't have Tick anymore. Who? Tick. Is that? The Mako Man. Uh, actually, no, that does ring a bell. Yeah, I think I do know who you're talking about. <laughs> Dude, like, seriously. Uh, okay, and uh, let's just say I just joined Core. Like, what can I fly? So, as I said, you can fly all... Uh, in terms of ship classes, you can fly fighters, bombers, capitals. Um, yeah, no, if you want like, to talk... uh, can I just uh, join the Core and, you know, do you have, like, a ranking structure or some shit? Well, we do have you... a ranking structure. However, um, with Core, I've decided to take a different approach because normally with factions, it's like, okay, you've joined. Say you're, like... A, pri- a private or something, you can only fly fighters, that kind of stuff. In Core, it's different. I don't know, like, uh, I want to talk about one thing. Um, the biggest show I had with Core was like, when I when I first made it and went to the Edge Worlds, like, I was like, yo, let's sort of copy what LN does, you know, uh, all the recruits, you've all got to fly Mantas and work way up the ranks. And we'll only have, like, three people tops flying Makos or some shit like that. And the biggest show I found was I was taking all these people, trying to have, like, house-style ranking structures, making them fly mantas, and I was met with like by ten Osiruses in every single sort of engagement. Like every time we'd just get ruffle stomped by battleships versus our puny little fighters. And then I ended up realizing it's not gonna work doing this, so I couldn't take a typical approach with ranking systems. Um at first I sort of tried experimenting and I made things really open. So I was like, as long as you're good in a ship you can fly it. But then I sort of decided to tweak that a little bit and I introduced a system that's sort of akin to special role plays. So right. uh, enough uh, faction as long as you can justify it, yeah, you like, can get it. In our faction subforum, we have uh, a section called uh, AP Manufacturing, and in there is a thread called Alabama Shipyard Production Facility. And basically in there, um, pilots can sort of post deliveries on APM vessels, so transports, and they can actually build the ship themselves. So if they're good in a ship and want to fly it, they can just basically build themselves and they can get it. There's no, like, sort of... Well, actually, you have to be, you have to be a certain rank to do that, but uh, we're quite... We're quite relaxed open. in giving people. Yeah. yeah, we're quite open giving people promotions. Like we're not really, really strict about it. As long as we see a player put in genuine effort into the faction and the role play, like we we like to reward them. Uh, we like to help them achieve what they want to achieve. Like we set their own personal goals. Right. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, now we get to the point where you get some questions by people from the leaders chat, for example, like. Uh, what's the dynamic between the, you know, the faction leader being you and the core high command? Like, uh, how, how was the functions, like, distributed? Like, what do you guys do? Basically, there's, like, uh, guild keepers and sort of, like, advisors to the guild master. So, uh, we work on comms together, work on roleplay, getting stuff set up. Um, sometimes I'll just pop people off to do comms for me or something if people want to try something. Though, admittedly, generally, I tend to do most of the things. I am yeah, just like any of, other faction. Yeah, like, I'm sort of working on distributing things a bit more, but unfortunately, most of the time, I do tend to do everything, but uh, it's kind of because, like, I feel like I sort of understand what I'm doing, like, if you get what I mean. I mean, like, so, like you said, most factions are like that. Right. So, here's a fun little question, uh, again, from leadership. Like, uh, what makes the core <laughs> controversial? <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> okay. And or the old uh, order pilots leaned Ooh. in. <laughs> Just like rolling around in their graves, probably oh. literally. Oh shit! Oh um, wow! Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> hitting, hitting order. Uh, real talk though. Um, I guess controversial in a good way. We sort of uh, offer a different sort of approach to roleplay. So the whole lawful evil thing. 
Uh, it's yeah. not conventional. Um, we sort of have different sort of ranking structures. As I said, different role play. Controversial in the bad way. Hmm. Where do <laughs> what, I begin? What's this, what's this topic about fair play? Yeah, basically, I mean, people are going to probably tell me, oh, Lith, you know, you're making shit up again. You don't really care. Like, I mean, I try to sort of create fair fights in balance when I can, but I, in fact, uh, you, you made this excellent sort fun. of... <laughs> yeah, you made this excellent point in your feedback thread about how um, fair fights for you may not be fair for someone else because you only enjoy fair fights because you know you can win them. I mean, I'm not saying I necessarily set them up because I know I can win them. Like, I just want to make sure that the other side has as much enjoyment as we do. But, um... Many, many times, core tends to get horribly and hopelessly ganked by the people, and then if we win fights, they then claim we gank them horribly. And there tends to be some sort of salt going around sometimes, people getting bitter. Uh, generally, though, like, it tends to diffuse. People just get uppity because, you know, it's PvP, people always tend to get a bit heated, uh, and fights resume as Panorti oh, just suicided. Uh, the atmosphere of the planet was a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> um, oh, look, there's no money on this character anymore. Whoops. <laughs> but yeah, the contrary just stems from how uh, people think people tend to think we're too PvP orientated. Like, you know, I said, Emicrons are really PvP orientated. People yeah. think, like, that's all we care about. Like, people have sometimes even said we're a clan. Like, okay. Ooh, hits me hard. Um, <laughs> Where's the radar? <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I disagree there, of course, as I put lots of effort into the faction and its roleplay, uh, its members cultivate it as well, um, and we do actually tend to have genuine, like, roleplay conversations with people, uh, we set up events with other people with roleplay background, um, yeah, other controversies, uh, oh, yeah, there's, an, there's another one which has actually sprung up recently, people claim we are a cat poor faction that flies nothing but caps, but... We do like flying our snubs. We, we like flying any ship class. I mean, me personally, I'm a shit snub pilot. I'll get that out of the way. Uh, hey, I, I do, killed you. <laughs> I, do, I do prefer my capital ships, but I actually do really enjoy snub group fights. Like, Alpha is generally the place we go to when I'm just like, yo guys, we're all logging snubs. Uh, we'll have a snub fight with the outcasts. Both sides generally tend to ignore it. <laughs> Though there's a, there's a certain faction that apparently Unless tells me that... a few battleships just in case. <laughs> Actually, that did happen once, but we ended up having a pretty neat cap fight, though I think the outcast side was very salty afterwards because we'd sort of ruined the cloaking strategy. So yeah, that was, uh... that was a mixed bag. <laughs> I'd say that wraps up for controversies with my faction. <laughs> okay, so let's just get to the last point, because we're... Th this is like taking a little... Uh, so, what are the recent developments like? Uh, you know, you, you put a lot of the effort into the fashion, but it's not like you're going to stop right there. So, you know, what's the close plans? Like the closest plans next? Uh, well, recently we did uh, events with the Order and the Corsairs. Uh, these were predetermined because, um, I mean, this was back when I was in the HC for BHU Core. We sort of decided to do these events like years ago. Um, right. Basically, um, the, the developments are Core gets a planet in the Omicrons. I already had had a planet. Uh, it was actually getting the base next to it. So the objective of this call was to eliminate Corsair presence from Rock Delta and then reign supreme because there'd be no one to challenge them. And then uh, once pushing the Corsairs away from Yaren and capturing it for themselves, the Order then launches a strike uh, whilst the core is unaware and their fleet's under repairs and they take Dabadoro. So it's right. sort of, you know, there's a shift in power. So uh, whilst Korra still, I'd say more or less top dogs in Delta, you've got the Order coming in to try and undermine their, inf their influence. And there are now also Nomads coming in as well, because the Nomads are starting their super um, spooky stuff. And I won't <laughs> I, I know what's going to happen. Actually, probably most people know what's going to happen, but I won't say any spoilers. I'll yeah. let newbies find that out for themselves. There's some cool new additions in Delta that you can go uh, explore for. Because this is a Discovery mod. Yeah, yeah. go Discover. Stop, stop using Ethelstead all the time. Holy shit. But yeah, um, basically, Planet, currently I'm sort of working on getting a docking ring, but I mean, Ajira went unofficial and died, and they build the docking rings and do the blueprints, so... Snack free. That's not good. Snack, snack free. free. Snack free. Snack, snack free. <laughs> and, it's like, it's, um, and then there's DSE, and they've kind of disappeared as well. Right. So I'm like left with no factions that can help finish the planet, so... Hire the rogues. <laughs> yeah, I might have to do that, like, hire the rogues to do it. I can put, like, a makeshift docking ring from somewhere. <laughs> let's, let's just make a docking ring out of, like, 
I don't know, Navy pilot. Okay, yeah. uh, so this kind of wraps it up, guys. Uh, this was Meteor Faction with the uh, Core and Lithralux. Ew. And uh, wait like, for the favorite, next. and subscribe. Totally, if you haven't <laughs> already. Lol. <laughs> anyway, uh, time to dock this thing and leave it without money. <laughs> yeah. Hey. This point, you never came to row, but oh well. Failed its insufficient credits. Uh, don't worry, I'll let the people go to row, like, row themselves to see what's going on over there. Yep. <laughs> okay, and uh, that's that's enough for now.